today we're doing a little side project. I want to see what this electric motor can do on this mini bike. This mini bike is the Little Rascals mini bike from Go Power Sports, and we put a 2,000 watt electric motor on this thing over a year ago, and I now want to see what this thing can do with a 6,000 watt electric motor from Electro and Code. That I actually this is the kit that I bought for the electric pit bike conversion project, and I'm actually filming this video before filming that project, but I'll upload this video after like part one or two of that project, just because I want to see first what this thing can do on this mini bike before we put it on the pit bike. So, it really shouldn't be that hard. All we gotta do is just swap the battery, swap the controller, the controls. The hardest thing about this is we have to make a motor mount for this because this one has a mount and this one doesn't. What just art? I removed the battery. What just art? Ah, oh, I wonder if there's capacitors. Uh, I think I just shorted out the capacitors in there. Oopsies. I'm glad I didn't touch that because that would have been painful. So, in order to be able to get this bigger sprocket on this electric motor, I had to machine th these flats a lot bigger on this output shaft, and I had to machine this little coupler thing, whatever you want to call it, so therefore we can have this fit, this sprocket fit on here just like that. We're going to have to do the same thing to the new motors. Let's put this, let's chuck this in the mill, mill this down and make it to where we can uh, put this sprocket on here just like how we did on this one.
unfortunately, it's spinning backwards. So we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to do something about that. Okay, so to, to reverse the direction of these electric motors, I swapped, and I'm not 100% sure if this works. I'm copying what I did with the other electric motor because we also had to reverse the direction of this, and I'm kind of hoping that the color colors of these wires are the same for each motor. It's a bit windy out, and now it's snowing in here. <laughs> yeah, when it gets really windy, it starts uh, snowing in here. I swapped the yellow and blue on the controller, and then I swapped on the Hall Effect sensor, I swapped the yellow and green wires on here, and it reversed the direction on that motor, and I wanna see if it works on this. I'm hoping it doesn't blow this thing up, because it was not a cheap motor. If it starts beeping, then that's, that's how we know something's hooked up wrong. This thing's gonna be wild. So we're probably gonna also wanna change the gearing, but we'll, we'll do that later. So now we need to put the battery in here, put the controller on here. I'm not gonna bother to do any like nice and neat, you know, neatly tuck the wiring and anything. I'm just gonna zip tie the controller onto here, right here, put the battery in the battery box, put a bunch of stuff in there so it doesn't move around, and then put the controls on the uh, on the handlebars, because I'm really, I really, want, I really wanna ride this thing. smoke by the way it's not the it's not the motor all right I'm dying to go ride this thing but it's it's a little cold out right now we got like four inches of snow last night so I'm gonna wait till some warmer weather to go ride this thing up the street all right so it's finally warm enough weather to try this thing out we're probably gonna have to change the gearing on this to go a little bit faster, but I first want to test it with this gearing, just to see what it's what it's like. Oh. <laughs> Brakes work.
Oh man, this thing is fast already. <laughs> Let's see if the engine's getting warm. It's getting a little toasty and it's down to 78 volts. <sighs> man, I'm gonna attempt a wheelie. I've, I've, I'm not good at them, I've never done them. I don't know how to ride a wheelie, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do one. This thing is uh, this thing is so much more fun with this new motor. <laughs> oh man! Yeah, this motor is is absolutely insane. It is night and day comparison to the old one. So, <laughs> so I want to change the gearing because I want this thing to go a little bit. Fit. Right now, it's like a wheelie machine, and I just I'm not good at wheelies, and I don't want to flip this thing. Uh, so let's change the gearing because I want to go as fast as possible on this. So this is a 54 tooth sprocket, and the other sprockets I have is, this is a 48, and then I have a 36. The 48 is just a little bit smaller than the other one, so I, I, that, I don't think that's gonna be that much of a gearing change. I wanna do this one, the 36. Yeah, that's gonna be a drastic gearing change. So, as you can see, the hole is a lot bigger on the new one uh, than it is on the old one. So I gotta weld something in here, and then I'll machine it. I'll machine it flat, and then draw the holes. So I also just charged the battery on this because I think you're supposed to do that uh, before using them and I forgot to. So. Okay. A 
Okay, I think this thing's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be fast. Alright, I wanna ride it now. Alright, here goes nothing. It's on high, so... Talk about speed of animals. <laughs> Start to get a little, uh... yeah, this thing is, uh, it's a lot faster. Holy crap. Put some strain on this motor. doing any top speed tests I really need to be wearing a helmet so I, I had to go back and I grabbed a helmet as well as gloves Let's see what this baby's got It's ridiculously fast. Oh, the brakes don't work anymore. <laughs> I can honestly say that is the fastest I want to go on this little thing. I do not want to go any faster than that. That was, that was fast enough. <laughs> yeah, this little thing has no business being that fast. <laughs> oh, I'm shaking. Man. Yeah, this little thing is incredibly fun. Now, I just looked at the uh, the GPS that I had on, and top speed of this little thing is 53 miles an hour. Now, I will admit that was coming back, so that was a little bit more on the downhill. So going up, going uphill, that was uh, 50 miles an hour topping out. So technically, this thing tops out at 50, but I'm, I'm calling it 53 because you know it wasn't that 
much of a down. I don't know. I want to say 53 just because that sounds better. So that is plenty fast for this little thing with these super unbalanced tires and the kind of nervous death wobble that this thing had. The death wobble actually wasn't that bad the second time I went up because I think the first time it was because I had that camera stick sticking out the side that really wasn't helping with the speed wobbles. The second time I went up, I had the camera mount on the handlebars kind of sticking out like past here. So I, I want to say that this thing was a lot more fun with the bigger sprocket on here because with this, with the smaller sprocket, this is all speed. And then with the bigger sprocket, it was like all torque. And I want to say having more torque is a lot more fun on this little thing. Speed is fun, but you have to have a vehicle that is capable of going that fast and it doesn't want to kill you. Also, having brakes helps. I think I think I totally uh, burned out the brakes on the rear brake on this thing because it barely worked uh, last time I went up. So I do need to replace that, or, or at least replace the brake pads on that thing. Yeah, if I was keeping this electric motor on here, I would put the bigger sprocket back on because this thing is way more fun with the bigger sprocket. But we can't forget why I bought this electric motor. I bought this for the electric pit bike conversion video. And I'm super anxious to start working on that thing. I, I can't imagine what this thing's going to be like with this electric motor with four gears and a little bit bigger bike that is capable of going a little bit faster and, and better brakes. So I can't wait to start working on that project. So unfortunately, as fun as this little thing is, I'm, putting, I'm taking this motor off, putting the smaller motor back on here, and I'm going to soon, hopefully soon, start working on the electric pit bike conversion video. So if you guys are curious where I bought this stuff, I'll be putting links in the description below for the mini bike frame as well as the, uh, the electric motor. The mini bike frame is from Go Power Sports. This, this is their little rascals uh, mini bike kit. And then the electric motor is a kit from Electro & Co. Links for that stuff in the description below. Yeah, I gotta end this video here. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see ya in the next video.